So it says to reduce this one to the lowest terms. So on these types, uh, what I like to do is kind of split these up. Let me make that a little bit thicker. I like to split these up so that we're looking at numbers and then separate letters individually. So this is what I mean by that. I'm going to look at these. This first one is 42 over 28. And then simplify that. So I would look at simplifying this by dividing both these by... It appears that they are divisible by 2 because they're both even. So if I divide 42 by 2 and 28 by 2, then I get 21 over 14. So that looks like they're... These two are now divisible by 7, so I can divide both these by 7. And again, the only reason I'm doing this is because it told us to reduce this to its lowest terms. So the numbers are going to give us, it appears to be 3 halves. So from the numbers, I've got 3 halves. Next, let's look at the x's. So I've got uh, x to the power of 4 over x squared which if I expanded these, I would have x times x times x times x over x times x. And then we can see that this set of x's is going to cancel out each other because anything divided by itself is 1. And that set also is going to cancel itself out, leaving us with x squared. So from the x's, we're going to have an x squared like this. Now let's look at the y's. We got y cubed divided by y, which is the same as y times y times y divided by y. So I've just expanded those. And then this set of y's cancel out, leaving us with a y squared. Now yes, as it was pointed out there, these technically would be over 1. So this is just kind of like fraction multiplication if you want to look at it that way. I'd have 3 times x squared times y squared all over 2 times 1 times 1, which is 2. So this answer would be fine. Uh, if you had left it this way with the red, the blue, and the green there, that would have been acceptable too. I mean, if you want to put those over 1, that's fine. But formally, this is the way that they want to see it right here.